Hey, all you Clovers. So my name's Phoebe, and today I'm going to walk you through this great feature. It's the Swap Replace Pattern Outlines. So it's really great. It's going to make your editing like even faster and easier in Clo than ever before. Um, I think it's going to be really, really valuable for all you tech designers, pattern makers, anybody who just wants to edit patterns really easily. So let's jump on in and have some fun while we learn. All right. So let's talk about the pattern swap line tool, right? The swap pattern outline tool. Before we start, let's like get in the mental space to think about this, right? So like editing and creating and all of that. All right, cool. Mental space now. Let me zoom in to this sleeve. This is a great example of when this is great, right? So here you have a sleeve and you're like, oh, I need to edit the side, right? You're like, I got to do some editing and I'm going to add in a curve point, adjust this around, maybe make another adjustment. Who knows? And then you're like, oh, you're kidding me, right? Because now you're just like, crap, the curve that I just did here, I have to somehow magically make sure I did the exact same curve here. And then you're like, that's not what I wanted. Don't worry. Now, if you go to your edit pattern tool, select that line, right click, copy, then you can select this line, right click, replace. So you can replace the line. Then you'll get this pop up. You can decide if you want it to start both or end. You could also flip, but the curve's perfect, so we're good. So I'm going to stick actually with where it's at, and then I'm going to hit, like, for the direction for start, and I'm going to hit OK, because this line is a little bit longer than this one. So it's just, like, replacing everything about it. It replaces the curve, the length, all of it. And now we've got a line that's completely replaced. I can go and edit this a little bit again so that it's back to that like a little bit shorter length that I wanted before and all of that. Pretty nifty, right? Let's do it again on another harder section, right? So here I've got a little bit of a harder section. I've got one continuous line and then I've got another line that's all broken up and anything that I do to this line will probably affect this a little bit, especially if I lengthen this. So that means also I've got to take into account this part. Do you think this will work? The answer is yes, we did. So let's say I move this in a bit. I adjust this curve just slightly. And I lengthen this. Now you're probably like, Phoebe, you sure? <laughs> yes, I can just select all the part that I want copied. So it's this whole part, right click, copy, then select all of the lines that need to be replaced. So that's all of these. Then I can right click, replace. Pretty great. And again, this curve is perfect. So I'm all good. I just need to make sure I pick the right direction. And again, start is right. And I'm like, okay, we're great. I hit okay. And I again can like go in and, you know, like edit this around, make sure like it's nice and curved out properly. All of that, Ooh, that was way too much. And adjust this. Now, so far, all of my curves have been perfect and they've been lining up properly. So you're probably like, Phoebe, why did you even create this um, option for flipping, right? This option, this option for flipping. <laughs> well, because sometimes you 
not every pattern is created so that all the directions go the same way. You also are probably asking me like, okay, Phoebe, so like, what are the actual limitations here? Like, what can I expect to do? What can't I expect to do? These are all really great questions. Let me show you. So here we have some examples. Here I've got a sleeve. Let me actually edit this about. So here I've got a sleeve. Also, I have grading on this sleeve. <gasps> right? Gasp. Here I'm going to select this line, right click, copy, select this line, right click, select this line, right click, replace. And it's going to replace it with the grading. Again, everything's okay. I'm good with the direction of start because it is like moving this up and I'm going to hit okay. Let's do something a little bit more difficult like this. Mm. Let's make it just so you can see like what is replaced by what. Let's select this point and make this smaller grading. Right? So here I'm going to add like some curvature to this and everything. I'm going to go to my edit pattern tool, select this line, right click, copy. Then I'm going to select this line, right click, replace line. So this is a great example of when we need the flipping. Okay. As I'm replacing this line and yes, sometimes you would want the side seam to account for the, like what you're taking in here to account for take, like it needs to go out. This time I don't want it. I want it to go in so I can use these direction options. So I could flip horizontal, which will then move this in. There's also flip vertical, which will then flip it vertical or flip horizontal, which will flip it horizontal. I can then hit OK. And as you can see, the grading is just being updated with the line. It's not replacing the grading. It's replacing the line. So the grading that you have applied stays, but the lines like shape is changing. So even though this is different grading, it doesn't affect this grading because it's not copying and pasting grading. It's copying and pasting the shape of the lines. So good to know, right? Like happy facts. Let's now go to something a little bit more complicated. Here I have a dart. So here I have a dart. All right. This is what won't work, right? If I select this line and this line and I hit right click copy and then I select this line, replace line will not even come up. So I'll right click and you don't see replace line. Now do you? There's no replace line. Nope. Not for you. However, if you select this line, hold down shift, select the dart and select this line, then right click copy. Then you can select this, right click, and replace line will come up. Let me just show you what happens if I do replace line. Because what I have done to this line is I've lengthened it and I've put in a dart. And I've shortened this and all everything. So I'm going to select this whole line, right click, copy, select this line, right click, replace. And you also see now like the dart's coming out. This is going up. You're like, whew. There's a lot of adjustments we've got to make here. Again, we added these direction options and flipping options because not every pattern is always created where every line that you're going to copy and replace goes in the right direction. Not like everything's going to match up perfectly. So we have these options for you in this pop up for you to then create and like match that line to how you want it to be. So that's why we have the direction options for start both or end, right? I want end. That's why we have the flip vertical or flip horizontal. I just want flip vertical and flip horizontal, or I just want flip vertical. So the flip vertical is the one I want. You play around a bit with this. Um, it all like really is dependent on how this, your lines were created 
based off of what you want for flipping. So there's no like perfect recipe I can give you right now to say like, oh, if like it's this and your line's this, it always is this. No. Sometimes you just have to play to see because we don't know like how that line was drawn or created or anything. So it sometimes has to do with that. So for this one, flip vertical is the way I want to go. As you can see, though, this bottom line is wonky based off of this line. So if I just hit OK, this is going to be a little bit, hmm, like, ugh, wish it was better. Again, what I can do, though, if I really want, like, this entire shape to be mimicked here, I'll select all the lines that I want mimicked. So I can select even a corner section like this. I can right click and copy. And then I can select these two lines, right click and replace. Now again, you're like, ooh, this is interesting. Again, we're gonna do end. And I'm gonna say flip vertical. And perfect, right? So sometimes, again, like I remembered last time flip vertical was perfect. So this time flip vertical is perfect because the lines haven't changed, right? Like how I created the lines haven't changed. So then I'll hit OK. And it's looking pretty great, right? So even with darts, you can, but again, you have to like select the whole thing. If I went to just edit this line now, right, and then I selected this, and then this, it will work. And again, I can like flip vertical and hit OK. And it's all good. Now, if you have just like a point in the middle here, but again, it's like connects to one full line, I can select this, right click, copy, and then just select the one line, right click, replace line. So it does work like where you can select multiple lines and like change it to one line or you can select one line and change it to multiple lines and have it all like do the one where they're all adjust based off of like that one as I showed before. So I could like select this, right click, copy, and then select both of these, right click, replace, and then they will be replaced. I'll hit okay, like so, right? Like they're replaced to being this straight. I can also do the same, right? Like the reverse, I can select these two lines, right click, copy to this one line and right click, replace. And again, I'll say end but I'll see like the bottom here, I'll be like, again, this is wonky. So what I can always do is select all three of these, right click and copy. But if I just select this one line, I'll still be able to replace the line because this is all connected. I'll still be able to replace the line. So the option will still come up, but you'll start to see like what is happening here, right? Like that's what you will ask yourself. And it creates like a completely new shape that you never expected because you're not selecting the right shape to like change out to. And you're not selecting enough lines to change out to kind of. It will work. So you can create something crazy if you wanted to or something like really fun and interesting. Um, but like just so you know. So here if I select the actual corner, I can right click and replace lines and end and hit okay. Great. This also works with facings as well. So here I have like my neck opening and again, make sure I select the whole thing, right click, copy, and then I'm gonna select this whole thing, right click, replace line. I'm going to flip horizontal. I like the start, I'm gonna hit okay. All good. Now here's something you should also know. This does not work from pattern outline to internal line. So if I select this, right click copy, it will not work with my internal line. You see there's no replace option. It will work though from internal line, copy, to pattern outline, replace. 
So it will work from internal line to pattern outline, but not the other way around. So let's just refresh a little bit on what does work and what doesn't work. If you have a separate pattern, right, pattern piece, so that they're cut like this. And I select these two, right click and copy. I cannot replace one line if they are separate pattern pieces or separated out by a dart like this. Right? Will not happen. If you select the whole dart and the whole pattern piece like this and copy and then select all of this as well, it will work. The biggest limitation is if you have two separate pattern pieces and you try to copy them to paste to one line, you won't be able to. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you had a lot of fun learning this great new feature. Uh, we're really proud of it here at Clo, and we hope you have really fun editing your patterns now. If you have any questions, go into the comment section below, type it out, ask away. We've got some great Clo 3D designers here to help you answer any of your questions or anything like that. If you want to keep learning more, Stay tuned on our Clo YouTube channel. There's so many great videos in there that like teach you so much and then you're going to be like a Clo pro and it's going to be amazing. Um, so yeah, keep going, keep learning and keep having fun with Clo. Thanks so much for watching.